I'm Hamna and I welcome you to the channel SharePoint Wiz. Uh, this is the part one of the series where I'll teach you all the functionality, all the aspects in Power BI. So without any further delay, let's get started with the part one. So in this section, basically I'm going to talk about what all are the things which you should know, uh, like prerequisite things in order to understand uh, the Power BI tool well. So I divided this section into uh, several different uh, parts like uh, what all data skills are required, what is the hardware recommendation and what is the software recommendation if you are uh, thinking or planning to uh, work in Power BI. So in terms of data skills, uh, first and foremost important skill which uh, you should have is Excel uh, terminology and logics. Uh, as you know, Excel is the one of the most popular program or tool uh, in the world which uh, millions of uh, individuals and uh, business users are using for their everyday to day uh, activities you know from uh, simple data entry uh, and accounting to more advanced statistical and data analytics uh, uh, purpose uh, so combined with power bi it gives you a very broad data analytics and visualization capability and uh, you can use those capability to build a very attractive uh, reports and dashboard so you must know the excel terminology or excel knowledge um, so here are the six ways like it shows you uh, how it can save uh, Power BI users time if uh, they already have uh, Excel knowledge. So first thing is that uses common foundation. So like I told you, um, Excel is the most uh, uh, popular tool which most of the users are using. So um, most of the functionality like all the add-ins, all the queries, its data model and reports which you can create in Excel can be transferred to the Power BI tool. So it uses all the basic add-ins, all the data models commonly and most of the charts you will find very common uh, like bubble chart, pie chart which we are going to talk uh, uh, in different module uh, but it uses the same foundation. So it, uh, so it is not like that like Power BI is an extension of uh, Excel tool but I just want to try to say like most of the features you will find common in Power BI so it would be very easy for you to work with and it uh, also also saves a lot of time. Second point is that automate your data refresh will with one click. So in Power BI to generate reports, um, we are going to connect to several data sources. Um, so in real time scenario, when uh, after connecting to certain data source, suppose we have Excel as a data source and uh, if you updated anything into Excel sheet, so that reflection should be uh, happen or it should be visible into the power bi report as well so for that it requires only one single click where it refreshes the data on the schedule basis so you need not to worry about like how you will uh, get the updated data or you need not to write any particular you know query or some extra stuff coding stuff uh, is required for the same thing uh third point is that consumes and share multiple workbook in a single view. So this is again a very important uh, aspect where by connecting your Excel workbook to Power BI, you can display ranges of data, charts, table and more on a Power BI dashboard. So you just need to use uh, the combined features. So basically it combines uh, several uh, workbooks and sheet in, into a single view so that you can uh, use uh, that particular view in your report. Uh, fourth point is that uh, rely on self-service data visualization. So with very rich uh, set of interactive visualization and the ability to ask a question um, by using natural query language and it's a very important term or element which we are going to discuss like how we can ask a question. So by using uh, this particular uh, ask a question element in your um, 
report uh, or dashboard you can generate your own uh, data visualization so if you are not uh, if so if you think you are not a excel expert or you do not know how to play with the data so in that situation only by asking a question it would generate a very uh, beautiful report for you which we gonna see uh, live how we can generate the report so it's very 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 a uh, good feature in power bi as well um bring advanced analytics uh, to your model so by using those built-in uh, visuals we can create several reports very attractive reports uh, but if your requirement is uh, to you know bring some other uh, third party uh, visual which is also possible by connecting uh, custom visuals so it provides uh, you an uh, uh, a way where you can have a different uh, a very complex uh, custom visual in your uh, uh, report so that you can bring uh, more capable uh, advanced analytics uh, report or workflow by using that So like we discussed uh, the combination uh, between uh, Power BI and the linking between Power BI and Excel here also we can see what all things which are uh, you know directly proportional we can rely on Excel tool so we can analyze uh, the data we can publish data from Excel we can pin particular particular a chart or report from excel and also the very most uh, um, uh, the most common thing is the import from excel so there are several data sources but uh, connecting excel is uh, still the higher and very popular way to connect your data uh, get and transform and data model like is it uses the uh, equal same data model so this is the relation between power bi and excel uh, if we're talking about the other skills other than the Excel, uh, which are enter, edit, and format text and numbers, like it's all about playing with the data. So if you know how to enter, edit, a format, or a text or a number, then uh, uh, you are good to go. For format as a table uh, so whatever data you are playing or you are connecting uh, it should have a tabular format so if you know how to create a uh, data into a tabular structure or tabular format then uh, uh, this skill is also very uh, uh, good if you know find and replace uh, so i believe uh, everybody knows uh, this find and replace if you have worked in any microsoft uh, product like like excel ms word notepad so this find and replace functionality you can find it uh, very common where um, it finds and replaces a certain uh, uh, text whichever we are writing inside uh, this uh, tool so find and replace is also is a required skill sort and filter data so most of the times uh, in most of the scenarios uh, we have to have a uh, filter or sort our data because most of the time we do not need some uh, columns or some data which is uh, out of our scope so in that case we have to sort or filter our data so this is also another skill insert and format charts so Again, if you know how to insert or format your charts, because in Power BI, it, re it would really help if you know how to create charts, because um, uh, like I told you, Power BI provides a very uh, robust set of visualization, uh, which creates uh, different charts or different uh, behavior of your data. So if you know a little bit about uh, the different of chart format and how to insert a chart, then it would be, uh, uh, again, a very good uh, skill, which you should have. So I hope you found this part one to be very helpful and uh, please uh, do like, subscribe and comment to this uh, video in order to get uh, the future video intact. Thank you so much and have a nice day.